Hello YouTubers! How are you all? I am great! So right now I'm going to be... Notice a different setting. I'm downstairs in my dining room. Um, right now I'm going to be talking about makeup expiration dates. Something that I have not seen anyone on YouTube talk about. Of course, they've talked about makeup expiration dates, but they haven't talked about something specific that I'm going to be talking about. And that is PAO, period after opening. That is found on almost all makeup products. So I'm going to talk about the PAO, and I'm also going to talk about um, general guidelines for when you should be throwing out your makeup. So, first of all, a PAO symbol is, I'm sure you guys have all seen it, you guys probably like, oh, what's that? This, hold on, maybe on Fix Plus, it'll be easier. This symbol right whoop, here, here, with the, the middle one, with the open jar, and it says 24M, I know you can't read it. M stands for months, so 12 months equals one year. Fix plus 24 months equals two years. So, PAO is found on almost everything. Fix plus two years. Now, those are general um, expiration dates. Of course, like like you buy milk, you know, if you look at the milk in your fridge and you're like, oh, it's expired. Don't mind the growling cats. My cats like to play fight, so. That's what they do. Anyways, so like the milk in your fridge, when you see it's expired, you mo some of you will throw it out right away, but some will be like, it is still good past a certain time. And it all depends on how you use your products. Products like Fix Plus are in a pump, therefore they are less susceptible to air contaminants that may get into your foundation or your makeup remover. And stuff like that. Fix Plus makeup remover, pro makeup remover, six months. So for those of you that think makeup doesn't expire, it does. That's why I don't collect huge amounts of it because I personally don't want eye infections and I personally don't want skin infections either from expired foundations and blushes and all that fun stuff. Now, uh, foundations you can typically use for one year. Um, if you buy them in the pump, it's better because they're less susceptible to air contaminants. Uh, whereas if you buy mine, um, you just got to be very careful that your fingers are clean and that you clean your brushes regularly for your face. Um, this one does not have a PAO symbol, my cover girl, and nor does my concealer. So some um, companies will not put PAO on certain products. Powder, such as Mineral Veil, Max Studio Fix, typical rule, one year or more, depending on how you take care of your products and how much they are um, used by air, which is why when I buy Mineral Veil, I buy the small like amount sort of thing. So on the Mineral Veil, there's the little symbol right there. 12 months, which is the general guideline for powders, a year or more depending on how you use it. MAC um, Studio Fix, there's no number on this that I can see, but again, one year or more. Clean your brushes. Um, eyeshadows, now this is a depotted um, MAC eyeshadow. Uh, typically, eyeshadows can last a really long time. Um, they say that they last a year to two, but again, that all depends on how often you wash your brushes and if you're using your dirty fingers to do swatches and stuff like this, of course, um, they're going to be contaminated, right? So be very careful with your eyeshadows because if you risk putting on expired eyeshadow or eyeliner or mascara or anything around your eyes, um, you can get eye infections, you can get pink eye, and not good. So be safe, right? 
uh, eyeshadows, um, eyeliners, typically six months. Think about it. You're using it every day. Most of you guys mostly use eyeliners in your waterline. So in your waterline, you have like junk in your like eyes, you know? Like if you touch up your eyeliner and you've been outside all day, your eyes are going to be dirty. Like when you wake up in the morning and you have that gunk in the corner of your eyes, that's your eyes cleaning itself as you sleep and that's like dirt. So imagine that dirt that's there and you're putting on your eyeliner and you're getting this just like full of bacteria and there's no way to clean eyeliner unless you sharpen it like every day but still. Um, mascara. Three months. Because every time you pump it like so, air gets in. Air is very dirty. Contaminants. A trick to keep your mascara that you could probably have it for maybe close to five or six months. When you put it on and then you put it in, instead of pumping, twist it. Move it around, but don't pump. Like, just twist that. And then you can put it on and there's less air getting inside and also it won't dry out. Blush, typically one year or more for... Powder blushes, again, this doesn't have a PAO. Typical one year or more for powder blushes. Again, wash your brushes regularly. Uh, cream blushes can dry out, and uh, they're a lot more risky than powder blushes. Okay, um, cream, any cream stuff, typically six months to a year, depending on how you take care of it. So if you apply a paint pot with your fingers and your fingers are dirty, then you're probably going to get not that long out of it. Um, cleansers and moisturizers, believe it or not, do expire, but are less susceptible to all that as, like, it's not like, usually when people use moisturizer, they wash their face. So your face isn't that dirty. Your hands are usually clean, so... Um, moisturizers and all that wouldn't worry about, but if you've had it for like five years, then you might want to consider something else. Lip glosses. Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush. 12 months, it says on that little thing. So, those of you that are lippy, glossy, lipstick collars, when they start to smell funky, throw them out. And these are like really bad for contaminants also you're putting them on your lips or if you use brushes you're probably safer to use a brush but some of us don't like pull out a brush in public to apply lip gloss we just apply it directly from the tube and believe it or not you guys your perfumes and your body lotions do expire um my favorite perfume uh davidoff cool water 30 months i don't know if you can see it it's there at the bottom. Um, perfumes really don't expire, but their smell will um, be less strong after a while. So yes, so I'm running out of time on this video. Even your hair products, you guys. L'Oreal Studio Fix out of bed, 12 months, can't see it. So typically, I'm just going to blabber this off really fast. Typically makeup has preservatives in it, which keep it from bacteria growing on and whatnot. So for all of you natural makeup users, I'm not saying it's bad to use natural makeup, but natural makeup does not have any preservatives to keep the bacteria from growing slower. So for you natural makeup users, just be very careful because there's no preservatives, therefore bacteria and contaminants are easily prone to natural makeup. So there you go. Um, I hope that guy, I hope that helped you. A little bit. I just thought it was important to tell you guys. No one else really talked about it on YouTube. So if you have any questions, let me know because I'm down to 9 minutes and 30 seconds here. So um, I'm going to do another video and a look. So I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.